Hey guys, everything Apple Pro here, and oh my gosh, how many more of these videos am I gonna have to make? There's been another lock screen bypass that's been discovered in iOS 8, and this one is big. It's more than just contacts, it lets you look into all of the photos on the device. No restrictions, you can just go in and see all of the photos that you want. So this does affect more than just the iPhones. Now it does affect the iPhone 6 Plus, the 6, 5S, 5C, 5, 4S, as well as the iPads. Now I have tested this on the iPad Air 2 and Mini 3, and I'm like 99% sure this does work on the iPad 4, 3, 2, and the iPad Mini series. Now this does also work on the iPod Touch 5th generation, and holy crap, this is in the latest version iOS 8.1, how has this not been found yet? Well, this lock screen bypass, it needs two things to work. Well, first off, you have to have Siri activated on your lock screen, and believe it or not, most people don't. They just keep it on there, they don't really care. And besides Siri, you do also need access to FaceTime. So FaceTime and iMessage on the iPads and the iPod Touch must be signed in. On the iPhone, you just need FaceTime to be signed in, but most people automatically have that signed in, that's not even a problem. So let me go ahead and show you guys how this works. I am personally shocked. I cannot believe this still exists. I mean, full unrestricted access on any device into photos if you have a passcode. Now in this video, I'm gonna show you the glitch and then I'm gonna show you how to protect yourselves against it until Apple does patch it. And yes, of course, you guys can expect iOS 8.1.1 very soon. This isn't something they'd want to keep out there for a while. Now, I'm not posting this video or videos like these to help people steal data, you know, thieves get access to photos. No, I mean, it's good to have Apple patch these as soon as possible, and if only a few people know about it, then the word never gets out and Apple will never patch them. So videos like these are useful for increasing the iPhone security and the everlasting lock screen bypasses. All right, so I'm gonna be doing this lock screen bypass on my personal iPhone 6 Plus, and I just wanna show you guys that I am running the latest iOS 8.1 firmware. Now I do have both a Touch ID and a regular passcode enabled. Either one works, it really doesn't matter. And I'm just gonna go ahead and trigger it five times incorrectly so it doesn't work anymore and I don't accidentally interfere with the process. All right, I'm gonna select cancel, open up your camera, and in here, you know, as you guys know, pressing either the volume up or volume down buttons will take a picture. So knowing this information, we're gonna select the volume up or volume down button and click on this guy at the same time to go into the photos. And the process is exactly the same for the iPads, iPods, and the iPhones. And make sure it is on video, on photo doesn't work. Okay, so one, two, three. And if you did it correctly, this should pop up, select done, and it'll still be recording. So if I go and press the power button and then uh, go back into camera, it'll still be recording. So that means you did it correctly. Now in here, we're gonna hold the home button to activate Siri, and we're gonna FaceTime call someone. It doesn't matter who it is. It could be dad, mom, grandma, grandpa, it doesn't matter. So, FaceTime Yarrow T. Making a FaceTime call to Yarrow T. And in a moment here, once it starts dialing, slide up, go to the command center, and put the device into airplane mode. So for the next three minutes, it's gonna keep calling. And it really depends on which carrier you have, if it keeps calling or if it goes to the screen automatically. So in a second here, I mean, I'm gonna keep this up so you guys can see that I'm not doing anything funny, but it's gonna keep ringing annoyingly and for about three minutes, I'm gonna have to listen to this. But in the end, you guys should see the following screen. Okay, and finally, FaceTime is gonna be unavailable. This is what you guys want. Now, the funny thing is, depending on which carrier you have, this may or may not take forever. I mean, I mean, three minutes maximum, or it could be instant. So select OK and select leave a message. All right, so now that you're in here, this is the magic button right here. Just click on that and boom, you're into all of the personal photos on that device, including the iCloud library. So here's camera roll, here's my photo stream. I mean, it'll show you everything, every photo within the device on a passcode locked iPhone, iPod Touch, or iPad. And it was when you select cancel, it'll take you back. Now camera roll will be unresponsive. You can't click on anything or do anything. And if you go back, my device is still locked. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you this process on my iPad to ensure that it does work. And I mean, that's crazy guys. You can get into the photos on a locked device on iOS 8.1. All right, so here's my iPad. It is the new iPad Air 2, and this is on iOS 8.1, of course. They don't come with any other firmware. And it does have a passcode lock already set. 
So uh, Touch ID hasn't been enabled. I'm not using it right now. So it's just the passcode and this works the exact same way. So go into camera, I'll go into your videos and you're going to select the record button up here on the volume and this guy down here at the same time. So this is gonna come up, you know, exactly as it should. It's still recording. So in here, Siri not available. I'm actually not connected to the internet. Let me uh, get my Wi-Fi running real quick. And uh, I'm gonna try that again. Siri, FaceTime Yarrow T. Making a FaceTime call to Yarrow T. So exactly the same, and I'm sorry it's gonna be loud. Just disconnect. I mean, either select the airplane mode or disconnect from Wi-Fi, or if you're on a cellular one, disconnect from that. And then it's gonna keep calling for about three minutes. So just set it down and uh, you know, in three minutes, I'll be right back. And there you go, exactly the same. As long as you're signed into iMessage, you'll get this guy right here. So uh, anyways, click on it and it'll open up a message. You can select this guy right here and here, exact same thing. You can get into all of the photos, all the data. Uh, it's crazy guys that this does work on not only the iPhones, but the iPads as well. And this does become unresponsive, so you will need to reboot the device. But there you guys go. That's the bypass that works on the iPads, iPod Touches, and iPhones on iOS 8.1 to get into photos. I do expect this will be patched very soon. So like I said, iOS 8.1.1 is on the horizon. I mean, it'll be here any day. But for now, the one thing you guys can do to protect yourselves against this is to disable Siri on the lock screen. So go into Settings, Touch ID, and Passcode. And let me just enter it real quick and just disable Siri from the lock screen right there. And you guys will be protected until this is patched. So Siri has been the main source for all the lock screen bypasses, I mean, most of them. So it does make sense to remove that from the lock screen for now anyways. So that's the iOS 8.1 lock screen bypass. Now, I don't make videos like these to help people steal the information. Like I said, it's to help Apple become more aware and patch this sooner. So I do hope you enjoyed this video. Protect yourselves, remove Siri from the lock screen, and you guys should be good. Have a great day, guys. Peace.